This is the 2.0 miner. Um, <clears throat> so one of the things, well, a couple of things as you can see right off the bat is that the legacy miner doesn't look as nice as the 2.0 miner. But the 2.0 miner is more limited in what it shows you. <clears throat> the older miner is more raw. It gives you more access to a further uh, available changes in the options so like for instance um, if I go to this graphics card you can see here are all of the different algorithms that it can run and if I tell it to start benchmarking it'll tell me uh, how many of them that there are but there's definitely more than there are on nice hash miner 2.0 there's 21 for this graphics card versus there are 13 uh, on the other miner. Now, I don't use a lot of these because they have a tendency to crash the GPUs when they're overclocked. I'm still dialing in my overclocks. Um, but uh, as far as it goes, so I, I limit it to whatever it wants to run based on uh, what it doesn't want to crash when it's overclocked. Um, this one and I believe this one. All right, so close. Um, let's see what else is about this. In the settings here, um, you've got a little bit more advanced settings. Um, you can hide the mining windows, which I, I believe you can also do from this one here, mining, start mining. I guess you can't. Um, so yeah, you can at least do the start mining while idle. Uh, which I have checked on this one as well. Um, but the hide mining windows is nice. Uh, so like when I'm playing games, uh, I have only one of my graphics cards going uh, mining, but the other one I have you know, dedicated to playing games. So um, it's nice to hide the uh, mining windows because anytime it restarts, it'll pop up on your game and cause you to have to at least close it. But uh, sometimes it can cause crashing and stuff like that. So you definitely want to turn that off. Um, what else did I find in here that was interesting? I think uh, that was about it as far as the settings uh, go. There are far less settings uh, in the Nice Ash Miner 2.0, um, unless you want to go to Advanced and then you can open the config file. But uh, I'm not uh, I'm not going there as far as it goes. I've only been mining for hardcore for a couple of weeks now so it's not uh, it's not really something that I'm interested in messing with too much yet this is about the simplest way to get your electricity converted into Bitcoin paying the electric bill you're just paying money but paying electric bill off of Bitcoin or uh, mining Bitcoin uh, at least you have the chance to figure that money to uh, appreciate in value so in my opinion it's worth definitely worthwhile um, but uh, yeah, so the Nice Hash Miner 2.0 is definitely a lot, uh, a lot more lame of an addition as far as the what it allows you to do in your settings and stuff like that. Um, but uh, if we click Start Mining, almost everybody who downloads Nice Hash Miner starts off on the 2.0 version. Let me make sure I got both the graphics cards going. Yeah, one and two. So you can see here. I'm hashing on my two GPUs at about 580 hashes a second. Uh, this is on two 970s. Um, I don't currently have an SLI bridge on them and I'm not set up in SLI mode, so I don't know if that will have any effect on it. Uh, but uh, I'll let y'all know in the future on that. I'm just gonna let this run for a couple seconds so you can see what uh, what the mining behavior is for me. So, I normally, well, I guess it's about right. That's about what I get all the time. Even though I'm streaming, I was curious if that was going to have a lot of effect on it. But strangely enough, I don't see the other mining window for some reason. Uh, lost, lost in space, whatever. It does definitely seem to be mining, uh, as you can see there. 
Um, so I'm not going to worry about that for this video, but uh, um, as far as it goes. So you can see I'm mining at $2.86 on Nice Hash Miner 2.0. Um, and I do think that this miner has a tendency to run a little bit smoother than uh, the legacy miner. But uh, when we go over here to the 1.0, or the legacy edition, when I fire it up, there's a couple of little advantages that you have. You can see uh, the actual US dollars that you're generating uh, based on the current rate of Bitcoin. It does take a little bit longer to jump up. And like I said, I think it's not quite as uh, quick in pretty much every aspect. I think that it has a tendency to be a little bit slower on um, its ability to uh, recognize that the GPU is failed or that it needs to be reset. Um, but now you can see over here I'm mining two dollars and ninety one cents so about ten cents higher uh, on legacy um, and it's running the exact same algorithms uh, so I don't know if it's just because it's a, a simpler model or what or if it doesn't report quite as well but it, it definitely seems to jitter around and everything we'll see what it settles in at in a second here while we wait for that I'm going to pull up this. So, this is what I'm talking about, this jitter. I don't know if this is normal. I haven't seen enough people's graphs. But uh, if we look at this day versus this day, um, there seems to be more jitter in uh, today's than there was in yesterday's. And I don't know if that's the currencies or if that is my overclock and the the unit having to restart more often or what um, but I've been messing around with the overclock so I'm, I'm trying to tune that in um, and see but I did notice that my miner had stopped a couple of times today the first times I had noticed it but I, I've only been doing remote desktop to check on it for a, a little while now like maybe two days versus uh, uh, I had just been using the nice hash app for monitoring but it's about worthless. It'll report to you that you're mining at double the rate and stuff like that. So you definitely can't trust it. So here you can see when I only had my first 970. And then this is after I picked up my second 970. Uh, so I've about doubled my hashing rate. Um, then uh, I don't know what causes a spike like this. There wasn't a spike in the price of Bitcoin that day. There wasn't a spike in the price of Bitcoin Cash that day that I can tell. Um, I, I don't understand why I suddenly, legitimately, because the site took it, started mining at like three times the rate that I normally mined at. And this is back on my original 1970. So, I, I mean, I, I definitely was triple the speed for that period, uh, or at least triple the uh, amount of money. So. I, that's interesting to see. Um, and I have checked to make sure it was from the Equihash. We can do that here. If you look at the numbers, the only number that changes other than the uh, um, Kryptonite uh, is the CAC and the um, Equihash. Um, now, I was running a very old uh, 6850. Uh, AMD card and that was what was mining the CACAC at the time um, but I, I've since pulled that card out uh, since I got the other 970 but uh, so you can see the big number change was on the Equihash I picked up 0 .0006 Bitcoin I believe during that period so and that was on a single 970. I'd really like to know what causes that. All right, well, let's check on this one. So back over here, you can see that we're still mining at just a hair over what we were mining on the uh, nice hash miner 2.0. Um, but I'm gonna run the 2.0 miner for the next couple of days. I'm gonna see if this smooths out. Um, and if it does, I'll switch back to the uh, legacy miner 
see if it stays smooth and that'll tell me if it was the overclock or the change in uh, um, minor but uh, I at least like the legacy minor better because I have more customization and it's easier to see all the different things that are going on with the unit um, I think the last thing I want to talk about is where's my mouse um, the computer does seem to hitch more when you're using the legacy miner I don't know if that's just because hitting it harder or what so as you can see here I've got my uh, 970s overclocked um, not by a lot uh, both of these are super clocked one was super super clocked the other one's super clocked um, but my my super clock card actually hits a higher uh, clock speed naturally than the super super clock uh, and the uh, super super clock costs more uh, when they came out so uh, if you can you know just get the better cooler don't spend the extra money for the factory overclock do it yourself it's 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 not worth it unless you're gonna get it on some sort of a deal um, and also on the super super clock I couldn't overclock my memory until I got the second card uh, for some reason now I can overclock the memory on both because I have them linked but um, I just kinda wanted to show you all what settings I'm using um, if you can avoid having to turn up your power limit, you definitely want to. Uh, you want to keep that as low as possible while being able to maintain the top speed. You can see my afterburner is broken. Oh, it came back. Um, but uh, you want to keep it as low as possible. Um, and if you cannot touch the core voltage, it's even better. Um, but from what I've found, uh, the card runs a little bit stabler with the power limit all the way up didn't seem to run any more stable with the voltage all the way up so this is the tune that I have now I also took down the core uh, from 123 to 58 but they're still pushing pretty close to the same numbers the highest I ever saw was 1523 so we're not talking about a major change there um, but the ability to boost the memory I think is the biggest help so you can see here mining at about 564 souls right now um, when I'm not streaming, I normally am mining closer to 584, uh, is a pretty constant for me. Um, one of the things that I'm really looking to find is a better history, uh, than what NiceHash is providing. I don't know if anybody's got a program out there that'll show you what your hash cycles for the day were, whether it be from Equihash, Kryptonite, uh, Ethereum. Uh, I just want something that tracks my hash rate for the day so I can see when the miner has had issues and so I can also see um, what my mining rate stays at throughout the day if there's anything like that so I'm, I'm looking for something like that and I appreciate not having to pay for it that'd be the best thing but uh, I'm sure that's some behind some paywall um, <clears throat> uh, let's see is there anything else that I had on the subject um, I'll get back to y'all on a update on this. I just wanted to get this out there, see what people think. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of thing. I think I'm going to be getting more and more into this as uh, Bitcoin keeps going up. I mean, it'll just stay profitable. I'll do it as long as it's profitable. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.